Well, we finally at the trail. I want to do a little recording of all the good stuff. This is where we at, supposedly, allegedly. And it's still a long hike for, well, for him it's easy. For me, it's new. Hey, I carry at least three pounds with your carrying. It makes us even. I got to probably the same wild weight. No way. Hey, what's... Oh, yeah, you can't change from no. here. You're, hey, record me. This is my backpack. You got your ultralight bag. He's got some... It weighs the same amount as yours. Right. Mine's probably 47 pounds. Let's take a look at his real quick. Oh, that's what's the way it weighs the most. You got to get rid of the bear. No way. <laughs> get rid of you first. All right, we're on our... Our, uh, let's take a look at the sign so we won't get lost or we can get lost there's the sign and we're on our first hiking trail what do you think the temperature is right now I don't know I think it feels 87, 87. Yeah. feels like 70 but all right I'm gonna let trail? you come with us me and Barry just stepped on the trail with Ranger Cookie we're coming together you can watch his side of it and my side of it well, that's it. We're backpacking in Louisiana, bear. There's black bear out here. We got a question for you, Cooper. You think this is enough? I don't think so. <laughs> that's human-sized bear spray. Oh, he has bear spray. Didn't know oh, he. He has bear spray. <laughs> Well, come along with me and enjoy the so-called view. This reminds me of uh, POW camp. No shade, no trees. I'm glad it's cloudy. Could have been hotter. But I'm comfortable right now. My backpack is giving me a little trouble already with the bar in the back. I try to fix it. I think it's the weight pushing into the bar or making it go inside of it's that one bar. I'm going to see if I can fix that later. All right now shoulders. It's okay. As long as I keep this tight around my waist that should keep it from going into my shoulders. And let's we'll see what happens. Let's we'll take a walk for a few minutes and I'm going to turn you off because I forgot to bring all kinds of battery packs for this camera. All right, so uh, we're heading that way. See you in a few minutes. All right, we about maybe half, not even halfway. And this will show you the view. I recommend this trail more during the colder weathers. For example, all that sun hits this, this type of plant and it just makes it so hot and it takes your breath away but if you're just doing a hiking not a backpacking perfect taking pictures nice cool area it's nice shady but that sun hitting all this dry stuff is making it really hot and humic humic listen to me humic so there you go I hope this is the one I saw the pictures of and I wanted to go to. We shall find out. It's a seven mile hike to the road. And hope it has something good and interesting. Maybe a bayou. Alright, well, see you in a few minutes. Well, here's well, here's another part. It's a nice little coos area. And you know there's going to be any oak trees out here, but we got a live oak here. Wait a minute. That's not a live oak. Yes, it is. A live oak. We got another one coming up. And dogs chasing crickets. Oh, we got an arrow. Should we turn or should we keep going straight? Mm. 
What's far now? Well, it doesn't matter. It's going to still end up where we want to go or be. This is the white one. Well, it's a yellow arrow pointing that way. And we got an orange arrow. Hmm. It goes both ways. This one goes up and down hills. Or we can stay on the top. It didn't look like a loop on that map. It looked like it came down to the road. All right. Here's another spot, place. I think I turned the cam cam on every uh maybe 10, 10 minutes or so. This is how you can get a good view. Where we at? In the desert. Why the trails can go through those nice dark areas? <laughs> All right. See you in a few seconds. All right. Another part of our adventures. We just did a little pit start about 10 clicks away. And we're coming across this big thing. I can see from here. Is that top? Is this the highest point in Louisiana? No, it's not. That's somewhere in Godzilla. Or, I'm sorry, Angola. But I'm going to show you another spot. In a way, I am regretting this trip. This pack is very heavy. I should let, I should just left it at 10 pounds. But my dumbass had to put some extra stuff in it. But the weight will go away after I use it. It's a seven, uh, seven mile trail. And look, a snugger is coming to go fuck my eyes out. Oh, all right. Dog, play dead. I'm hungry. Play dead, Derek. We can get a snugger. Hmm. There's some snuggers. Flying above us, and they go to eat our brains. Poor snuggers. I have no brains. You're going to starve to death. I hope this is one of the campsites I saw in the, on the pictures. The heat is unbearable. Boy, is the heat unbearable. Oh, I just want to take another little short clip for y'all. Sometimes you feel a nice cool breeze come up from below. Sometimes you feel a hot ass breeze. My poor... Good, there's a hot breeze. Oh God, stuffy. My poor dog is suffering out here. I have to throw water all over him. And I know one thing, many he finds a pit. He's jumping in that sucker. No denying that. Hey, my friend Bear, he's back there. He's catching up. I knew the drought or no rain for a long period of time. I was not gonna fill up these little ditches we have out here that's on the map. Is this the place where they took the pictures of the sunrise and sunset? It looks like it. Mm. Looks like it right here is the sunset picture. That's all in the sight. Mm. This reminds me of Virginia, but hotter. At least Virginia was cold and you freeze your butt at night. 72 during the day and 60 something at night. Yeah, you froze your butt. All these rocks are heated up, and we're walking over them, burning our brain cell. I wonder if there, where's that snugger that? You hear the snugger, dog? 
the Snuggers go come and get your brains. Poor Snuggerts. I don't see any, but uh, all right. Well, this is bits and clips for the uh, walkabout. See you in a few seconds. Well, we found the first campsite, but we're not going to stay here. We're going to move on to another area. This is the one that I've seen in the pictures. Now, I thought it'd be excited, but they always show you the good parts and not the rest of the part. Uh, what you think? What you think? I don't know. I think this pack is heavy. Yes. You told me this was 15. There's 22 miles in this area. All right, we're going to move on. We're going to see if we can find some water for this dying pup. Well, here's another clip. Now, it looks like we're going a little bit of downhill. And um, uh, my friend behind me, Mr. Bear, saying we're doing the backbone. We're basically walking on the bridge of all the creeks and crannies that the water used to be up to and uh show you a little bit and go way up there because it looks pretty in a way i'm enjoying this walk in a way i'm not enjoying the walk i feel sorry for my dog more than anything i think i should have left his ass home but i was thinking protection and he's dying of thirst and water he needs to do, do a dive Poor Derek. And I knew it was kind of dry, and I knew some of the creeks would be. Uh oh. He is caught. His brains is not working. I threw some water on him, try to cool him down. I know he's black. Poor black dog. So, you know, I got I, the. I believe I could have picked a better spot, but this is a good walking trail. It's uh, seven miles. You said seven miles. Well, seven. Plus the road. Yeah. So it's about nine miles, give and take. And I thought we'd have a bayou nearby or a creek or something so we can get water. It's nice and shady here. That's what I'm liking about it. All these beautiful black pine. For those who not, don't know what the, what kind of pine that is, is black pine. I think we got like seven types of pine. I'm not sure. Don't quote me because I'd be wrong. But I don't know that's black pine. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool we could find a creek. I'd be happy to camp right there. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I was looking for. This type of trail. And I was bitching and complaining earlier. And I got what I want. I'm like, I want to go in that dark area. And here we are in the dark area. We just can find a creek or something. I'll be happy. Hmm. Enjoying the views. I know you can't hear him back there, but he's, he, we take a couple of your tubers and hope y'all wish you were out here to help us bring our packs around. <laughs> Who wants to be a porter? Which 
I think my bag weighs more than yours. I think you're the kind of bunkie on that one. Uh, you, you th okay, we need to weigh these. I thought about bringing a scale. I wanted to weigh our bags. It might be an ultra light bag, but I put like 100 pounds. You got the rhino. Huh. I got the rhino. Yeah, wait to eat all your food so your bag is lighter. Yeah. Alright, we've seen a few bits. Well, here's another point of view. All these big rocks. I thought I'd never see something like this in Louisiana. But I was wrong. I was wrong. Ah. Yeah, my dog is complaining. There's not enough water out here for him. Poor dog. Yeah, I thought I'd never see boulders or rocks out here, but it surprised me. All kinds of boulders and rocks out here. I wonder what the natives use out here. If they had natives, what they use to make fire and stone tools mm, makes you wonder how they survive in this type of environment. All right, there's another view of the trail. Now look, stones. More stones. Well, here's another view. We passed the sign, the long trail. I forgot to record it. And we try to make it to the next fork. And that's where we're going to stay for our first night. If you look on the map of this place, it was Highline Trail. Highline Trail. The one we passed. The one we passed. And we're trying to go to like old turpentine is the next intersection. So just in case you didn't hear him, old turpentine is the next intersection. That's where we're going to be staying for the night. Yeah, I'd, we shall see. All right, here's your daily view. I mean your view. Note to yourself, come out here, if you do come out here, come out during the cold and wet season. You would thank me. Sand and water might be worse. Yeah, sand and water might be worse. Oh crap, look at that. <laughs> the hill we're getting to. Looks like Doc found some water. Oh. He didn't. He's looking for it. <laughs> Uh, a hell of a hell. Maybe during the cold season it would have been better. A little colder. But we making it. We managing. Alright, this is your, your view. See you in a few seconds. Well, here's another view. Another good view. This is a very looks like somebody been using this area as a camping area. Look at this beautiful view. You will freeze your butt off camp here at night. But we, we're not stopping here. We're going to another spot. Anyway, when I came back here, I saw these mounds. 
I don't know if that's termites or or what. What do you think that is? And they get pretty big. Like a big bee or something. Is. It's nature in the middle of the woods. Let's camp here and have these things fly on you. Wherever this is. All of it. The whole shebang. And over here. Oh, just want to show you another view on this trail. Alright, see you next view. Another view. A beautiful view. I would love to stay here. Oh my god, this is probably the one I saw. <laughs> it was one of them. It had, it had a bunch of them. Look at this, guys. Look at this view. That's fine. But he's scared to camp here. Yeah. Let's take a look down here. Am I going far? Because I got my bag on. Another camping spot. It wasn't far from the other one we just came from, but this one's way better. Way better. We probably freeze to death here. Well, I know I will. Look at that drop. Oh, I hate to say hi and goodbye to this place. Bye. Here's another view. We down in a low area where the bayou and wall the water runs to. Another beautiful camping area. It's very cool down here. Too bad it didn't have water. Well, I'm going to take you along in this little view. It's all nice and cozy down here, a lot of shade. And I found a, a nice log to sit on. Oh, that's another view for you. Another good view. We found water. Get that water, Dark. Get it, Dark. Get that water. Cool yourself off. So right now we have a problem. Trail goes that way. Trail looks like it goes that way. And we just came for that way. So we're looking for an arrow. And there's another good view. Another good camping spot. It's by water. And there's a bayou I was telling you all about. Up oh, there's the arrow. And we found the arrow. Got our view. Whoa, we got water on the side of us. Dog, get that water. Dog, go get it. Get that water. Good dog. Good dog. I want to cool. I want to cool him down.
So I'm guessing that we're three quarters of a mile from the purple intersection, which is our halfway point. It's going to be dark in an hour. We've got about three quarters of a mile of hike and dark on the way. Oh. Well, enjoying the hike so far? That's not too heavy to carry. It's kind of easy. Well, I've heard you say, thank you for the help. Oh, another view. I've been up for 24 hours, 25, about 25, 26 hours. And we got the creek on the side of us still, which is good. And here's your view. Well, we found another camping spot, another good view. Guess with a snake. I didn't record it. I, he did. I want to smoke down. Half time, snake time, what's the difference? It's a picture time. This is a good shot. Chick, 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 chick. Look, it's bear! Wait, the trail goes that way too. Must be a hidden camp. We'll that way. Yeah. Alright, we gotta go. Alright, here's your view for this area. Well, another view. I hear a lot of squirrels in this area. All right, there you go, another view. And then you got about 30 minutes to an hour, eh, about 45 minutes probably, before the sun goes down. All right, your last view until we get to camp, I hope. Uh, we finally make it to camp. Six hours. Of walking. Yeah, we're going I'm not going that way. I'm going that way. Well, the last view of our camping space. What a beautiful orange evening this is. Well, I'm ready to set up camp. It's going to be right here. All right, this is your last view for the night. Maybe it will. Maybe one more later on, I don't know. Bye-bye, good night. Well, I'm Ranger Cookie. We're leaving our camp and we're doing my type of hike, night hiking. I keep telling Bear to turn off his light, but he's scared, but it's okay. I... <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got a full moon out and we got some coyotes or wolves. Well, at least they're not black bears. I don't know what's worse, coyotes or bears. Uh, we don't want the black bears so we got uh, coyotes or wolves. It's not like wolves, but you never know. And we're leaving our camp. And this is your view. Four o'clock. Four, almost five o'clock. And it's, uh, there's the full moon. Ow! All right, this is your view.